President Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, is seeking leniency in a new court filing amid his plea deal. Now, Cohen admitted he made false statements to Congress about Mr. Trump's project in Russia. For more insight on the implications of Cohen's guilty plea and more, we're going to bring in our legal panel, federal litigator and white-collar criminal attorney Andrew Stoltzman and federal criminal defense attorney Will Bruzo. He's a former JAG a lawyer and officer. Thank you both. Thank Anytime. You. We also know is lying, correct? So if, if I'm representing President Trump here, uh, aren't I, help me out here uh, as well on this co-counsel, uh, aren't we going to say at this point we can't believe anything Michael Cohen says, so wherever he's placing the president during a primary or otherwise is irrelevant? Because the yeah, Mueller Evan, investigation you know, knows go, go for it. false. Go, go for it, Andrew. Yeah, you know, that's the $64,000 question. I mean, you have a primary witness in this investigation who truly has the credibility of O.J. Simpson. And when you look at the evidence pyramid, you have liars, you have convicted felons making the base of that evidence pyramid. And that's extraordinarily problematic. And look, even if what Mr. Cohen says is true, because President Trump wasn't the president at the time and he was only running for office, it's OK that he was trying to negotiate this deal. Now, you can say it's unseemly. You can say that it's not what we want a presidential candidate to do, but it's not illegal. Where the problem comes in is what did he tell Mueller in the written answers to these questions? And that's why most of us thought he should not have answered these because it's a classic perjury trap. All right. Final question for you both. Uh, we got 30 seconds here. You mentioned it, Andrew. The Trump, uh, admit, uh, his team has responded to the legal questions. Do either of you recommend President Trump take a face-to-face -face meeting with Robert Mueller and his team? No, I mean, I, that would be an absolute horrible idea. I think his counsel has imparted on him that he can't do it, but watch it. Those written answers could come back to bite him, and that might be the biggest issue right now in the probe. Will? You know, you know, as a criminal defense attorney, I would not have my client testify if I know that he's lying. So. Uh, whoever is representing President Trump right now would not have him testify because I think he would probably incriminate himself. All right, gentlemen. Thank you both for your insight uh, on these legal developments. Thank you. Leland? Thank Anytime. you.